Deacon pieces together shocking clues about Sheila's disappearance after discovering Sugar's release. As he shares his findings with Finn, Luna and RJ navigate awkward tensions at work. Meanwhile, Brooke reacts strongly to Luna's trauma, while Deacon's search for answers intensifies. Secrets unravel on today's Bold and the Beautiful. Spoilers for Wednesday, April 24's episode of The Bold and the Beautiful, Deacon gives Finn Sheila clues about Luna and RJ's problems at work. Spoilers for Wednesday, April 24's episode of The Bold and the Beautiful indicate that Deacon Sharp will consider what he just learned online. Deacon discovered some significant information regarding Sugar, aka Janet Weber, in an article after doing some research on the subject. Sugar was, as it turns out, freed a few months ago, so Deacon is now even more certain that Sugar is the one who passed away at the cremation. That explains, at least, why Deacon saw someone with ten toes and Sheila Carter's face. Deacon will feel as though the puzzle pieces are fitting together because Sugar had a striking resemblance to Sheila, save for that one missing toe. Of course, since Deacon is unaware of the specifics of Sugar's swap with Sheila, there is more to this B&B mystery. Additionally, Deacon is unsure of whether Sheila fled on her own volition or whether she was in jeopardy of some kind. Deacon calls John Finn Finnegan, the only person on the globe who would be ready to demonstrate care for Sheila, as it's obvious that he could use some backup. After disclosing what he discovered from Lauren Fenmore Baldwin regarding Sugar's cosmetic surgery, Deacon will clarify that Sugar sought retribution and cite all the evidence he has discovered supporting this bizarre flip. Deacon will discuss the irate text exchange and why it makes sense that Sugar was searching for Sheila following her release from prison after going over the ten toes he saw. As the evidence grows, Finn will have to give Deacon's theory a little more credence. Deacon predicts that Sheila will require their help, this is particularly true if she is being held against her will. There will be unpleasant moments at work for Luna Nozawa as she works with RJ Forrester, while Deacon provides Finn with some important updates about Sheila and Sugar. There will be tension in the air as RJ and Luna attempt to work together on hope for the future, despite their best efforts to ignore everything that transpired with Zen Forrester Dominguez. Stay tuned as the bold and the beautiful spoilers indicate that after the turmoil at the guest home, Luna and RJ will struggle to work out their working relationship. For amazing spoilers, predictions, news, and updates about bold and the beautiful, CDL is the place to be. Check back often for further BNB information. After reading RJ's story, Brooke reacts strongly, and Deacon discovers an update regarding Sugar. After reading RJ's story, Brooke reacts strongly, and Deacon discovers an update regarding Sugar. On April 23, 2024, a Tuesday, on today's episode of The Bold and the Beautiful, Brooke discovers what transpired between Luna and Zend, Deacon finds out that Sugar was let free, and Finn and Steffi spend their alone time discussing Sheila. Editors have independently selected all of the goods and services that are listed. On the other hand, Soaps.com might get paid a commission for orders made through its retail links, and the retailer might get some data that can be audited for bookkeeping purposes. Deacon is perplexed by the amazing tale Lauren Fenmore told him at IL Giardino. Sugar underwent cosmetic surgery to achieve Sheila's look. He determines he's not going crazy when he searches for Sugar, also known as Janet Weber, online and discovers Sheila wasn't the one being cremated. Are you still alive, though? When Steffi and Finn arrive at the cliff house from the beach, she remarks on how wonderful the water was. They cuddle and kiss. Finn is very excited about being by himself outside. He asks Steffi if she has any suggestions for what to do with the remainder of their morning. Steffi smiles. She is not without ideas. They give one other a passionate kiss. Finn receives a text after they've moved to the couch to make out, and they start gushing over a picture of the kids with Lee. Their blended family is dear to Steffi. Speaking of mixed families, Finn remarks, Hope stopped by yesterday with Kelly's goggles. Steffi remarks, It's nice. Finn claims he had an opportunity to inform her father that he still believes Sheila is alive. Steffi believes Hope ought to be very worried. Finn believes it to be the grief. At one time, he also saw things. That's the sole reason he believes he saw Sheila with ten toes. RJ gives up on his pencil at Forrester and tells Luna that she spent the night with Zend in a flash. Good morning, sweetheart, is Brooke's greeting as she enters. 
RJ growls in response. With narrowed brows, Brooke queries, what's wrong? RJ is unwilling to discuss it. Brooke does not give up. Does he and Luna have a falling out? She asks. This is more than a disagreement, moans RJ. He should chat to Brooke, perhaps she can be of assistance. RJ doubts her ability to do so. It's unbelievable that I'm saying this. Luna was dating someone else, Luna breaks out in tears as she remembers RJ separating from her and stating he needs more time in the design office. When her mother gets there, she embraces her. I truly apologize. She asks RJ how things are going because she is feeling awful. Luna says he was heartbroken by her. He's been thinking about her in Zen's bed all the while and wishes she had told him sooner. He requires more time. Poppy cries out that she is not involved in all of this. Is he unable to comprehend that? Can't he pardon you? Luna hopes so, too. His devotion for her is evident to her. Luna isn't convinced it's that easy, but Poppy insists that's all that matters. If he is unable to go past what she done, she is not to blame. According to Poppy, it was an accident. She didn't intentionally deceive him. Luna never had a right to withhold this from him. According to Poppy, Mom was attempting to preserve their friendship with his cousin. She begs Luna to hold on to her belief that RJ loves her, Brooke asks RJ in the main office who Luna slept with. It was Zend, he informs her. Brooke starts to panic, saying, oh my god. Zend and Luna shared a bed? RJ clarifies that she believed it to be him. Her own mother gave her a medication. Mom, it turns out that Poppy's mints were more than simply mints. All of this seems unbelievable to Brooke. RJ assures her that he thinks Luna. Brooke asks, how could Zend accomplish this? RJ thinks he wouldn't take any action without Luna's approval. Brooke contends that it's a tremendous betrayal because he knew she was his girlfriend. When your dad discovers, she is asked not to tell anyone by RJ. If this got out, Luna would be destroyed. Brooke concurs, yet she finds this unbelievable. She is aware of RJ's numerous struggles. However, what about Luna? Consider all that she endured. What's up with her? Is she okay? According to RJ, Luna believes she betrayed him and his family and is blaming herself. Whoa, says Brooke, are you kidding me? She is not at fault. Brooke can only speculate as to how it might have felt to wake up believing her boyfriend was with her. This has been a horrific event. This is really bad. Really, what happened to her is horrible. What was Zend thinking, she babbles. How could he subject you to this? You have a cousin named him. Brooke calls this a terrible betrayal on Zen's behalf, her eyes welling with sorrow. Honey, I apologize. She is aware that RJ still adores Luna. She says she's here for Ridge and Luna, and she swears not to tell anyone. She's hoping that after this awful night, they can return to their previous state. They give hugs, Deacon gets irritated at the restaurant as he tries to look up more details on Sugar Online. Shutting down the laptop, he muses on whether Sugar really had ten toes. Sheila, where the hell are you, he murmurs. Thinking back on the text exchange, he concludes that Sheila sounded afraid. Will she simply depart the town without informing him? Sheila, are you still out there? Are you at risk? Finn admits to Steffi that he gets fired up when they talk about Sheila at the cliff home. He's fortunate to be married to her because she has been his rock. Sheila and he have an irrational connection, but it's nothing compared to her and the kids. We're at liberty. Sheila is someone we will never have to worry about. They share a kiss. Deacon discovers an internet article at IL Giardino stating that Janet Weber slash Sugar was freed a few months ago for good behavior. That might have been her, ten toes and all, that I saw at the crematorium. Where the devil is Sheila if Sugar is dead? On the bold and the beautiful, next up, Deacon approaches Finn for assistance after discovering a lead, Zen tells Carter that he had an affair with Luna, and RJ and Luna experience a tense moment while collaborating. Please subscribe our channel.